Hello, welcome to the Data Company Podcast. I'm Jedediah Yua. Today, I'm delighted to introduce you to the group CIO of BNP Pariba, uh, my good friend, Bernard Gagani. Uh, good morning, Bernard. Good morning. Nice to meet you again and happy to be with you. How have you been doing? Not bad. Fine, thank you. I hope everyone is going well. Now, Bernard, you're running one of the world's biggest technology organizations as part of one of the world's biggest banks. And I wanted to get your thoughts about how, how, what it's like to be a leader for this kind of an organization in, in today's world. So the tech giants, if you look at these tech giants that have scaled past every checkpoint imaginable, they are now trillions of dollars in market cap in some cases. How important is it for you to keep pace, to adopt the technologies and to innovate at the speed of the tech giants? Digital transformation has never been as urgent as today, bringing new opportunities to constantly evolve our IT and to ensure interoperability within the chosen solutions. In a such fast changing environment, we see the emergence of new players in the banking industry we need to deal with. New banks are relying on technologies to compete with traditional players in the sector and are particularly agile and, and innovative. In the context of the banking industry transformation, which is deeply changing the innovation, we need to have a co-petition uh, posture, collaborating with some, while working actively with the others to be more and more attractive. I think the digital is the answer. The bank of tomorrow must be modern and digital. BNP Baribas began its digitalization journey in 2013. In 2017, after several years of use, the bank realized that the private cloud structure was hammering a rapid development of digital banking functionalities. Indeed, the return on investment was not there in terms of cost and time to market. Companies using public cloud could get new computer servers or new storage to develop applications in minutes while it took the bank several weeks to secure similar resources. All of these findings have led us to believe that no corporate IT department could compete with the legal term of these players in the long term. It therefore seemed natural to us to embarrass the movement of using a public cloud while finding solutions to preserve sovereignty of our customers' data and banking transactions. Now, you've talked a lot about um, public cloud as well as the shift to mobile and the shift to web-based digital operations for a bank. When you think about digital transformation as a complete journey, where, where do you see Baron P. Pariba? Where are you along that journey? I think we have uh, to provide a more efficient day-to-day -day banking for clients and more digital personalized sales approach to deliver a better quality service. To remain attractive, we have to build new relationship models and to find the perfect balance between human and digital. For example, we have launched many initiatives to support business transformation in, for instance, payment IT domain. Instant payment rollout is on track thanks to the creation of the dedicated IT department to ensure both rationalization and security to the retail and corporate payment through whole group. We have also transformed our IT architecture by facilitating internal and external partner partnerships, launching the APIization program under deployment, or, or accelerating uh, move to cloud. At the same time, we have launched initiative to strengthen IT security cons uh, consisting in a large adaptation of IT risk uh, scenarios with a strong focus on data leakage prevention or external Interruption, BNP Baribas accelerated its digital transformation journey in order to build the European Bank of Reference, even though we will have a long way to go. 
When we look at the world at large, about 10, over 10 years ago, companies were all waking up to realize they were software companies, that every company needed to be great at shipping software. Today, we believe that the world has shifted and companies really need to be great at being data companies because the entire digital world and all the applications we run are really built on the foundation of data. Now, data is pretty tricky today. There are a lot of regulations that uh, enforce the way that you manage data. These privacy regulations, regional privacy reg regulations like GDPR in the United States, we have CCPA. One of the things that happened just this last year during COVID-19 is that there were more and more privacy regulations that were either begun through legislature or passed. And so privacy regulations have become this patchwork quilt of regulations that really impact every business. How do these regulations impact a bank like BNP Paribas? Regulation lead to increase important constraint, which for the certain number of them are contradictory with the very spirit of the digital transformation. We have to operate. As an example, banks are trying to find a good balance between cloud, public, private, hybrid, and regulatory requirements. The question now is how to regulators impact innovation at the banks. Obviously, regulators need to set up to stay relevant in the digital economy. They need to, uh, to, to drive a cashless digital economy, overcome to trend of increasingly complex regulation, regulatory requirements, protect the interest of the end customers and the country's citizens. Define a business continuity plan to take into account of crisis and security threats, which impact the volatility of the global economy. Manage the increasing cost of, of compliance and facilitate innovation and market competition by implementing emerging technology such as blockchain, AI, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, robotic, and APIs. Now, you talked earlier about coopetition and partnerships driving a lot of your forward going strategy, and a lot of that has to be governed by APIs, interactions via APIs uh, between your partners and BNP Paribas. One of the things that we've done is we've really made APIs centric to our data platform strategy. We've made sure that all of the actions you can take in our data platform can really be managed by APIs which enables you to create this programmable data infrastructure that really helps you leverage data. Can you talk about the importance of APIs to the bank? Our IT department embarrassed uh, API uh, a long time ago, both internally and, and connected uh, internal applications, but also externally to connect to our technologies partner and suppliers to drive internal efficiency and organization. More recently, we have started to, uh, to embrace API first mindset in which API is not only a question of connectivity, but also more and more a product. We are shifting to the paradigm where API is a means to expose data and service and carry a value proposition in the convenient package that is easy to consume with appropriate access right and data production. Using API is one of the core enablers for the bank evolution, along with data and our cloud initiatives. Now, Bernard, you're one of our most innovative customers, and you've actually built a pretty extensive application on our platform and APIs. Talk to us a little bit about your open digital marketplace and your data agility products. How did they come to be and what kind of impact have they had on the bank? The challenge of the open digital marketplace and data agility is the increasing the capacity to the bank's data teams to develop new models. We have data producer and we have a platform producer, both will expose their products through the open digital marketplace, a portal where data team come to define the couple data and platform. Data allows us to better know our customers, to manage 
a continuous and consistent messaging between the customers and the bank and have the high personality re relationship with each customer. Also, with this data, we can, as a financial uh, partner with each customer, by spending them smart notification, BNP Paribas must strengthen customers' trust and protect data uh, usage through optimal data privacy practices with an operating model relaying on local empowerment and federated ex extension. All this goes to with APIs. So API is the fuel of our, uh, our economy today. Now, the bank, BNP Paribas, it's all about money. It's, it's, a, it's a business built on money, but how important is data to the bank? Data is a key asset for the bank, mainly because all processes are relying on data and can be or will be digitalized more sooner than less. Value will come from data manipulated, created, stored from and by our services, by building in several services to our clients. The challenge to the collect customers' data to make to best use of it, to improve the relationship, the operational efficiency and strengthen the quality of the service offered, hence create the foundations to better take advantage of the data. Data is a part of our DNA on day-to-day -day life. Our objective is to facilitate the usage of data to increase productivity and the performance because without robust scoring engine, we cannot give customers credit. Without a behavior of algorithms, uh, we cannot uh, send efficient marketing campaign. Without high quality of data, we cannot detect potential risk. Hence the importance to collecting and making the best use of our customers' data. This is why BNP Paribas has invested into the data management. Within our bank, a dedicated organization has been put in place around the data to ensure data integrity, quality, fluidity, production data, uh, where IT uh, risk and businesses closely cooperate to improve a common data strategy trajectory. Now, there's a lot of hype and a lot of promise around AI and machine learning and deep learning. Tell us a little bit about the AI as a service application you've built. So first is the digital intelligence is the powerful driver for growth of innovation. We know it's real key for the bank to reach operational excellence, customer satisfaction, and value creation. The different initiatives that we have, I can give you a few examples. One is the translations. So translations between the different initiatives that we have inside of the bank. Once again, this is an example of what we do. More efficiently, we are advising uh, some new ways of working with our customers. Is the other way of working. And we have also AI we are using for the managing our IT and IT department. We have a large, large set up of IT, our IT and artificial intelligence help us to reinforce the running way of our IT at the same time, 24 hours, seven day, seven day a week. There's so many places where you can apply machine learning. What are the most important areas that you could apply the technology as you look into the future? Uh, between September 2017 and June 20, the number of AI use cases have increased by 3.5, with those going into production increase from 12 to 31. Use cases are mostly articulated around three families, enhancing operating operational workflow customers' knowledge. For example, data extraction from unstructured documentation. This is used in investment bank. An example, experience and value with, for example, direct marketing improvement, which is in credit consumer side. Risk and compliance is another example for the real scoring of pricing for SMEs in retail banking side. It's fantastic to hear all of the progress you've made. 
Now, you've been with BNP Paribas for over 20 years now, and you've seen a lot of the technology world as it's shifted and changed. How has your perspective changed over that time? Our industry is now changing with new players, such as GAFA, new banks, fintech, which are seriously competitors through their capacity to involve and with who we have to deal. To meet the many ch challenges to the banking world, BNP Paribas is evolving its traditional model to adapt new technologies to offer new services while guaranteeing capability and interactivity with all the systems, all in the secure environment, and IT is the heart of such significant transformations. To conclude, maybe I can say that the fast changing environment where we are living, reading the bank of tomorrow, IT is now at the heart of the bank strategy stakes to deeply transform the banking sector. We can say that IT definitely becomes the symbol of the bank of tomorrow. IT has certainly become a center point for all businesses around the world. And thank you so much, Bernard, for sharing a lot about the data strategies, the compliance, the AIML, and your overall innovation programs at BNP Paribas. Uh, merci beaucoup, au revoir. So take care and thank you very much and hope to see you in person the next time in Paris. <laughs>